So next up, one of the things that has been around for a while that we, of course, need to fix is that we can harvest nodes just by running into them. Uh, that's simply because our area which is harvesting the nodes is active even when we are not in the swing animation like this. So we just need to make sure that we enable those areas during swing animations and disable it at all other times. So let's go to the player scene and we'll take a look at the animation player and we'll also take a look at the area 2D. Uh, while we're here, I've also noticed that there's been this update cache bug in the uh, error log. That's just mentioning that these properties are set to continuous when they should be discrete. Uh, for this pixel art game, all properties are going to be discrete, which just means that they only update when you hit a keyframe and not try to um, change the values in between keyframes. But anyway, let's go to swing down animation. And we can see that we don't have any mention of the area 2D setup here yet. So we're going to have to add a track. So let's do a property track on the area 2D. And we're going to be looking for uh, monitoring. And we're going to turn that off at all frames except the last one where our uh, tool should be hitting uh, whatever node we're trying to harvest. So we can right click here and insert a key for monitoring to be on. But at the start here, monitoring should be off. So I'm going to disable that. So you right click, insert a key, and then toggle the Boolean off. And then at the end of our animation right here, I also want to insert a key and toggle monitoring off again. So basically, we enter the animation, monitoring is going to be off, we turn it on for one frame, that's 0.2 seconds, and then we turn it off again as we exit out to other animations. So uh, just to double check that that's kind of how it's going to work here, let's look at um, the hand equip script, and we can see on area body enter 2D, that's when we're doing the interact with body function, uh, basically harvesting the nodes. and. That means that we need monitoring to be on for that to work. So that we don't have to mess with the monitoring settings on every single animation, we'll just have the other swings set up exactly like this, and we'll have monitoring turn off automatically on ready. So let's create the function underscore ready, and we're going to take uh, the area 2D, which we have to get access to with an on ready var. So at on ready var, Area 2D, Area 2D, and we'll look for Area 2D in uh, the list of nodes. So it'll just jump down one node, find that Area 2D, and assign it. Here. So after we have Area 2D, we want to on ready do Area 2D dot monitoring, and we'll set that to false. Now to note, uh, at tool annotation is in the script, which means that our code will run in the editor. Uh, I want to make sure that our code that isn't the setter function here uh, does not automatically do that just because it might cause some problems down the road. Like it would probably be fine for monitoring to turn off automatically when our script loads, but let's just make it so it doesn't. It only needs to do that when the game loads. So I'm going to do if engine dot is editor hint, and we want to inverse that because we don't want this code to run in the editor. So it's if not engine dot editor is hint, then we'll run our on ready code. So now it's only gonna run in the actual game. And let's do the same thing down here. So if not engine is editor hint, tab this over one bit. Okay, and now the only code that's gonna run in the editor is this, and all of this is now game specific code. So just be careful when you're using the at tool annotation, because once again, it makes your code run both in the editor and in game. So it can be a little dangerous um, having your properties change in the editor if you aren't careful. Okay, anyway, let's go back to the other animations and we just need to repeat this area 2D monitoring. So let's go to swing left, Add track, property track, area 2D, monitoring. Okay, and just the same at the start. We uh, come down here, right click, insert key. So monitoring's off, go to 0.4 seconds, insert key, monitoring, toggle it on. And then at the end, 0.6 seconds, turn off monitoring once again. I think we might actually be able to just uh, select all of these keyframe points with a box select, control C. And now we go over to swing right, add a track, property track, area 2D monitoring and uh, let's see if we can paste it in here nope that doesn't work okay so we'll right click insert key um monitoring off at the start on at 0.4 seconds and then off again at 0.6 seconds okay and lastly we'll do swing up same thing add property track area 2d monitoring okay come down here right click insert key turn it off 0.4 seconds right click insert key turn it on and 0.6 seconds, right click, insert key, turn it off. 
Okay, so now uh, monitoring will turn off at the start of our script when the player enters the scene, and it will be turned on only at the 0.4 second of our uh, swing down, left, right, up animations. So with that, we should be able to hit play. And if we run into this um, rock, the tall rock, it's not going to harvest anymore because monitoring is off. But if we swing at it like this, you can see that the harvesting actually works again. So that's basically all we need to do to make sure that the harvesting works as intended. And we actually need those harvesting animations to harvest these resources like the tree. So let's run into here and start harvesting the tree by swinging the axe. And it is pretty much working as expected.